this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and do. Herb Dean is your referee. Ready, He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Good. All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas. The battle's T-Mobile Arena. Been a lot of several moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 246. But, John, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. He loaded up there with that high kick. Oh, nice. Oh. Just missed with the leg kick. Circling to his right. Flips the punch. Deep now. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Lands a solid kick right there. There again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show, certainly paid dividends for him there. Superman punch now. Just over three minutes to go now. Nice jab. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to the single guard. Oh, yeah. Both guys appeared to land there. It's the elbow there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice defense there. Huge block. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Great job finding that nasty shot from the clinch position. Walk that kick to the body. Chip, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Ninety seconds and counting here in our opening round. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, that one landed, yep. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Right there it is, another 
strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps try to set something up high later? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Beautiful strike. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Back and forth we go. Under 20 seconds now to go. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Five minutes in the books. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Great fight. Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. Oh! oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh, head kick gets home. Don't want to take too many of those. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Oh, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Well, he continues to hurt him again. Strong outside leg kicks. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's going. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. He lands a switch kick there. Clinch position, the underhook is gonna be very important. Whoever controls the underhook is in control of this position. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Right hand landed. Blow earlier in the round, it wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damage. Oh, nice count. Yes. Those are big strikes. Work, guys. Able to check the high kick. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. 
Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Under a minute now to go in the round. Body kick lands. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier. Really, really. But that's exactly what you expect. He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. He's back. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, my goodness. seconds to go. Oh, another strike to the torso right there. Got to get better defensively or that's going to be a real factor as this fight continues. He's got to tuck that elbow. Yeah. I mean, he's got that elbow flaring and every time his opponent's going right up under it and landing right to the body. He's got to do something different right now or he's going to get to a point where he will not be able to continue this fight. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead sustained in that round. The cut man has 60 seconds now to close it up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if it continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice shot there by the champ. Just out of range with that right hand. He's been working hard defensively, kick block there. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Just misses there with the left. Found the target there with a straight right counter. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Missed with that attempt. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Sidekick is true. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Jab is on point right now. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. 
we have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggression. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't hurt Able to check that kick as well. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh! That'll do it! Celebration is on. One of the biggest wins in his UFC. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance.